Hello guys, so this tutorial is a continuation of last tutorial because in the last tutorial we made this shop item, shop list appear but if I click it, nothing happens, nothing at all and in today's tutorial we're going to take care of that ok so basically there's two ways we can do it I'm going to show you both but use on, only one of them so remember that we made a prefab of the item I'm going to open the script that we put in there and first I'm going to create a reference to the button component so here so here in the item script I'm going to create a reference to the button component so public button this button something like this something I don't know just to name it and let me explain you why we want this because in every button we want to access this button component so that through the script we want to program the on click event event of each button ok so let me drag this item prefab into there and it will find the component it will put here the this component as you can see this component here is this thing over here ok so now that's done so the first solution I'm actually not going to do it all I'm just going to show you how it's done to put in this item class something like this so that it will appear in the shop in every item uh, on click event just like this one that you can that you can program and to do that you actually need two things over here which is the unity engine dot ui and the using unity engine dot events and with this then we can now put here a public button dot button clicked event I'm going to name it so button clicked something like this and here where we when we create a button for each element I will put here SCP which is a script and we want to find the button what did I name the button this button and dot on click which is the on click event which is of course this uh, this part over here on click to be equal to that component over there to the button click component button click oops to the i which is each element dot button clicked so if I hit save oh that's an error oh and that's because I, I put this parenthesis over here that's like that and with this done uh, let me show you here in the shop now as you can see now every element of the array has uh, a button clicked event which is an on clicked event and you can add here what you can do whenever you click an item or another or you know basically you can do whatever you want and you know this is one way to do it I'm not going to do it this way but it's pretty easy to do all you have to do now is to uh, execute a certain function whenever you click the button anyways the way I'm going to do this is by instead of using this event thing so that we can access this button click the event and instead of putting this over here I'm going to use this thing called listeners and I only learned about this recently but a uh, listener is basically something that that is checking whenever you, whenever you execute a certain action and I'm going to put here uh, the script so script dot and we name the button this button and we want to access the on click part of the button so on click and now we're going to add a thing called a listener so what listener does is basically checks whenever you do a certain action in this case is whenever you click you can also add listener for any other event like on putting the pointer down or on scrolling or something like that anyways dot add listener and as you can see the listeners work in this weird way I cannot actually explain to you very well I'm just going to show you how to make them work so to make a listener work you put something like this and put some parentheses in there with a equal and a s making an arrow pointing to whatever the method that you want to execute so I'm going to create here a method so let's call it that mo uh, let's call that method purchase so void purchase and I want that purchase to to say something like uh, bought an item. So let's debug debug.log. 
item bot. And now all I have to do is put here purchase like this and now if I hit save and if I hit play and I'm going to open here the console if I click any right now they'll do all they'll all execute this function in the same way if I click any of them you'll see that it, sh it shows item bot it doesn't actually show any item uh, buy any item but we're going to take care of that right now so to actually buy an item all we have to do is to make the count of the item go up and and how can we do this well all we have to do is pass a component pass something to this method and if you don't, don't know much about passing stuff to methods I recommend you watch some tutorials about functions and methods and whatever this is and all that so what I want to do is to pass to the item to the purchase an item so I'm going to call it item bot so the item that was bought so like this and what I want to do is to access the bot dot count and make it bigger like that it's simple like, like the, it's simple as this um, we can actually also increase the price so bot dot cost equals itself cost times say 1.2 so that the time the price goes up as you buy more and more stuff and now all I have to do is put here something now because we are in a for each loop and each item i that is iterating through the shop item that is made of items that we named i each element so supposedly if I put here i it will work but because of the weird way that this, these listeners work that wouldn't work correctly at all so instead of putting their i we're going to make something very simple which create here an uh, item and name it uh, this item something like this and make it make that equal to i you know supposedly you'll think that putting their i or this item is the same thing but it actually isn't uh, I actually learned this from this answer that this guy made over here I'm going to put the link in the description so yeah that's it and now it should buy the item so let's say and hit play and right now the buttons won't change yet but you'll see here the the counts going up so if I click this you can see that the count is going up and the price has changed as well and the more I click the buttons go the count goes up and the cost goes up as well and the other elements do the same thing as you can see now we want to make that appear in the buttons as well and that will do in another tutorial so thank you for watching this tutorial and see you in the next one